This is Stick Shift Hot Wheels. If you're new here to the channel, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, it's good to see you back. I'll be embarking on a new series that covers the Hot Wheels ID line of vehicles. Here's a look at some of the Hot Wheels ID packaging. Hot Wheels ID vehicles are broken up into two series. Series 1 started in 2019. Hot Wheels produced Series 2 between 2020 and 2022. The cars were discontinued because of slow sales. They had an MSRP of $6.99, which is a premium price. I think it's a good value because the Spectra Flame paint is worth at least $2 in my book, and the NFC chip is probably a dollar a piece, even though I don't care about that part of the car. In five to 10 years time, people will begin to realize how awesome these cars are, and they're gonna be scarce and hard to find. I'll be using the Roy G. Biv color spectrum for a guide for these videos. One video for each color of Spectra Flame. This is the first video installment. As you can see, these Hot Wheel ID cars are finished in Spectra Flame Red, which is a deep, rich candy apple red. The paint has a richness and a depth, and you can see the raw metal underneath the clear red Spectra Flame paint. This is the Aston Martin 177. There were Hot Wheels ID chase cars that were put into the regular mainline cases that would go to Target and Walmart, for example, and they were in a blister pack, not in the regular box. And the chase cars did not have the Hot Wheels ID exclusive wheels either, but they still have the chip. So they were very hard to find. This 177 looks very elegant in Spectra Flame Red with a tan interior. Part of what makes the Hot Wheels ID line awesome is they have full tampos, front, rear, side, side. So you get headlights, taillights, emblems, everything. For a car enthusiast like me, that's a huge deal because it just adds to the realism. But as a side note, the chase pieces did not get full details because this Aston Martin does not have taillights. Hot Wheels produced a large number of Hot Wheels ID castings, so I don't have every single Hot Wheels ID car in Spectra Flame Red. These are just my personal favorites. This is the Porsche Taycan, and it is also a chase car as well. It's very fitting that Hot Wheels included some actual electric vehicles in the Hot Wheels ID line because it kind of matches up with the technology aspect of it, and it's just really cool. This is a really great casting. It looks awesome, really nice in this Spectra Flame Red. It's very shiny. Next up, we have the Lamborghini Centenario Roadster. Thankfully, the Hot Wheels designers put the same proportion front and rear wheels on this car on the Centenario Roadster. It just has the perfect proportions that way. These Hot Wheel ID wheels are black with a red lip. Overall, the tampo details are good, but the car is missing its lower grille detailed in black. This car has the added feature of a pinhole defect on the upper right rear quarter panel that sticks up from the body of the car and it's exposed bare metal. Hot Wheels did an excellent job on the Spectra Flame paint on these cars. They are absolutely gorgeous once you get them under some good light. This is the 2018 Honda Civic Type R, and it was designed by the late Rue Asada. It is part of the Hot Wheels ID Factory Fresh, and it is a Series 2 vehicle. It is painted Spectrofine red, obviously, and has full details, headlights, grills, taillights. The wheels have no finish except for a metallic red stripe around the tire and white printed letters on the outer edge of the tire. This Spectra Flame red color really suits this Honda Civic Type R and definitely gives the car a sporty performance look. The rear wing looks awesome, the vortex generator on the top of the rear window looks great, and the car features detailed taillights, red Honda H emblem, Type R emblem, 
Hats off to you, Ruasada. This is going to be one for the ages. The 56 Chevy is part of the Series 2 cars, and it was produced in 2021 only, and it was designed by Phil Rillman. This casting is largely based on the 56 Chevy casting designed by Larry Wood, and while appearing similar at a glance, both are completely different castings. The ID casting is longer, rides higher, features slightly larger headlamp and tampo housings, a slightly different hood, adds a B-pillar, and features different front and rear bumpers with bumper guards and a new interior with a notably detailed steering wheel. The casting features a generally center weight distribution and rides higher than most ID castings to allow for track use with the help of dual axle risers. I thought it rode really high. I thought it was uh, kind of raised up. This is the Hot Wheels oval drive and it is a fantasy casting depicting a NASCAR and this car has a lot of tampos. Uh, more tampos than majority of the Hot Wheels ID cars I have in my collection. Uh, it looks really nice. With the Hot Wheels flame logo on the side. It looks like a NASCAR. You know, it has 25 on the roof and it's covering, you know, the entire roof. That looks really cool. The dark red ring around the rim and the yellow and white tire lettering is a great combination. It really ties in with the Hot Wheels yellow logo and the Spectraflame red paint. This car also has a movable front splitter so that you can put the splitter up for when you want to actually use the car on the track because otherwise if the splitter was down uh, the car wouldn't perform on the track very well. Like I said before a lot of these cars were available on Amazon.com from 2019 till today really 2022. The price fluctuated. A lot of these cars were sold directly from Hot Wheels themselves and occasionally they would have the cars on sale and I picked this one up for, I don't know, three dollars and fifty cents. It was on sale one day and so I was like, all right, I'm just gonna grab this one to see what it's like and it's pretty cool. Would I pay the full seven dollars for it? No, probably not. But this is one of the rare fantasy castings that actually looks like a licensed model to me. I mean, it looks like a representation of like a Dodge Charger NASCAR. So, very cool. This casting is part of the Hot Wheels ID Speed Rig series. It is called Tank Full. It is a gasoline tanker truck. It features a Spectra Flame red cab with a plastic chrome tanker portion in the rear. It was produced in 2020 only. The truck was designed by Phil Reelman. I think that means this is a one and done casting. This is the only one they're gonna make. I mean, I don't know, are they gonna adapt this to the main line? It is yet to be seen. For the Tampos, uh, white stripes with Metro Fuel and the Hot Wheel ID logo on the side and a bright red stripe in the middle of the tank and an alternating stripe in the lower section, which is kind of like a caution stripe, that features red and white alternating colors. My last Spectra Flame red car is actually not exactly red. It has a little bit of brown in it or something, or it's more rustic colored. Um, it's the Special Edition 2020 Hot Wheels Legends Tour Bone Shaker. And this car was originally supposed to be sold at the Hot Wheels Legend Tour events, but due to COVID, that didn't happen. So they were sold online and they were somewhat pricey. The car is very detailed and has tan bone shaker over white skull with Hot Wheels logo and teeth on the sides for the tampos. But one of my favorite tampo details is the HW behind the doors and that script is used by drag racers normally. I think it's kind of a nod to racing this rat rod. The car features all the plastic pieces are gold chrome which I think looks absolutely spectacular. It complements the richness of this, I don't know, oak red color 
very, very well. The wheels are black and feature a white and gold line. And I think this thin white line kind of reminds me of a white wall tire. Looks very, very classic for a rat rod look. And this bone shaker is one of my favorite Hot Wheels ID vehicles, I think in the top five of my entire collection. It is phenomenal. And if you love the bone shaker, this is a must have. It's amazing. It just sparkles and uh, the photos hardly do the card justice and they look awesome in these photos. You've got to grab this one. Thank you for watching my first installment of the Hot Wheels ID series of vehicles where I review vehicles by Spectra Flame Color. You may also like to watch the other videos with the other Spectra Flame Colors throughout the Roy G. Biv color palette. Have an awesome day.